All right, we begin the broadcast today with a big, big thank you to our viewers. On Monday, we introduced you to the delivery boy Shahzad Ali. He's specially abled, wheelchair bound, but he works as a Zomato delivery executive to make ends meet. We told you his story of sheer grit, of determination. Life is hard for Shahzad, but he doesn't crib or complain. He fills his heart with gratitude, wears a white smile on his face, and is grateful for every day, every day of his life. But delivery is hard on Shahzad. His wheelchair runs out of battery every four hours, and our roads are not always disabled friendly. So when we asked him on the program if he could live any better way, what would it be? Take a look. शहजाद मुझे बताइए आप जो डिलीवरी का काम करते हैं जोमेटो के लिए ये काफी फिजिकली डिमांडिंग जॉब है अगर आपको जो सुन रहे हमारे व्यूअर्स कोई एक जॉब दे सकते जो लेस डिमांडिंग होती तो वो क्या होती तो लगता है कि मैं जितने भी डाटा एंट्री या इंटरनेशनल प्रोसेस है जहाँ पर टेक्निकल सपोर्ट की रिक्वायरमेंट लेकिन इंसान की एक्सपीरियंस कैपेबिलिटी और कैपेबिलिटी और कैपेसिटी नहीं देखते इंसान का एक्सपीरियंस नहीं देखते सिर्फ मेरे में एक वीकनेस देखते हैं So this is what Shahzad had said on Monday and we are so happy the TBC team is extremely extremely happy to report today that Shahzad's appeal has been heard Vikram Sahani one of uh, the viewers of TBC when he saw Shahzad's story that day he reached out to us and he also reached out to Shahzad with a job offer and now Shahzad has a desk job Viewers you have done this we sincerely thank you for making Shahzad's day and his life a little better than how it was this is the kind of impact we live and love seeing let's take a look at what Shahzad said after getting that offer Thank you CNN news 18 ka main tay dil se dhanyawad deta hu thank you keta hu aur mujhe सानी सर के सांसद महोदय दिल्ली के उनके रिफरेंस से इंदौर के सिमरन पीट्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड में पंद्रह हजार रुपये की नौकरी मिले जिनका मैं श्रेय सीएनएन न्यूज एटीन को देना चाहता हूँ उनकी पूरी टीम को उनके प्रयासों से मुझे ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोगों को दिखाया गया जिसकी बदौलत में आज एक ए, इमरान फीड्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड में मेरी नौकरी लग गई है ये ओपन लेटर है जिसमें पंद्रह हज़ार रुपये पर महीने की जॉब है मैं तहे दिल से एक बार फिर सी एन एन न्यूज़ एटीन का धन्यवाद अदा करता हूँ All right, check on that, and our day and week is definitely made. And thank you again to our viewers. Let's move on with that to our story of the day. In today's segment, let's decode all you need to know about liquid nitrogen. Now, a cloud of smoke on a desert or a drink may certainly look very tempting, but can it be fatal? Liquid nitrogen has been in the Indian culinary scene for a long time now, but particularly picked up after several, uh, you know, programs like Master Chef, etc., started using it. Chefs are using it. Mixologists in India are using it as well. However, along with the rise in popularity of liquid nitrogen, there has been a rise in the incidents as well. Remember the horrific incident from Guru Gram where five individuals fell critically ill after consuming what they thought. was actually a mouth freshener at a restaurant following a dinner in Bengaluru a 12 year old ate a liquid nitrogen pan and ended up getting a hole in their stomach and as a result of these incident states like Karnataka Haryana Tamil Nadu have banned liquid nitrogen the question we then have to answer on tbc today is can liquid nitrogen really turn out to be hazardous or even lethal is it going to have a extreme negative impact on our health let's start with exactly telling you hey kya liquid nitrogen what is it we take you back to the science classroom to understand that nitrogen remember abundantly present in our earth's atmosphere it is colorless odorless it is represented by the symbol n in our chemistry charts if you'll remember 
Liquid nitrogen is simply nitrogen that has taken the form of a liquid state from its gaseous state. What does it really do then? Well, essentially it helps in rapid freezing and retention of flavors. So liquid nitrogen can freeze food instantly, which helps in preserving the texture of the food as well. So for example, desserts or at a very basic level, ice creams and sorbets, they can all be readied instantly. Also, it's massively used for turning food into a theatrical illusion and a spectacle as well. For example, mousse cocktails or food dishes, cup cocktails, all of them, uh, these restaurants, Michelin stars, fine dining, etc., they all use liquid nitrogen. But there are various industrial uses of rapid uh, liquid nitrogen as well. For example, temporarily freezing a section of a pipe to sort of prevent the spilling. Uh, medical use is as well for cryosurgery subjected to tumours or warts into extreme cold or for their removal. It is also in a way used to conserve or store semen. This technology is crucial for sperm banks, remember. But, you know, all this GAN that I'm giving you is what liquid nitrogen actually does. What concerns us, however, is and where it is in direct contact with us, the consumers, is the food department. Now, experts are largely saying that while liquid uh, nitrogen itself might not be a hazard, what it's mishandling while cooking can lead to major health issues. And that's the reason why FSSAI has now rolled out an advisory. They are saying that liquid nitrogen, which is illicitly being used directly at the point of serving or plating, is not going to be allowed as this is not intended purpose and the technological use of, uh, of the additive shall be considered as non-compliance by the food business doing so. So imagine you're being served and they drop in that liquid nitrogen. It turns out to be a great theatrical experience. FSSAI is saying, don't do that. But let's try, try and understand this in a little bit of more detail with our guest, Dr. Pranav uh, Srivasan. Uh, Srinivasan is with us. He is a surgical uh, gastroenterology from the Fortis Hospital in Bengaluru. He joins us this morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking out the time, Dr. Pranav. Good morning, My first question really is... Thank you. So our first question really is liquid nitrogen is the chemical composition changing of the food, is that happening at all or can we say that uh, the use of liquid nitrogen is not impacting the quality of food at all, it could be changing the state only? Yeah, so liquid nitrogen does not usually alter the chemical composition of the food, it mainly alters the physical state and texture. So what it does is uh, hmm. it preserves nutrients, prevents degradation of the food hmm. by enzymes and reduces the ability of bacteria to make the food stale. So as such, it does not alter the chemical composition of food. So with normal slow refrigeration, what happens is that there's formation of ice crystals because of which the quality of food changes with liquid nitrogen because it acts so fast there's no uh, alteration in any of the chemical composition of the food okay okay and one would say so right because if that is being used to sort of freeze embryos and sperms and that retained life then one can safely say that the nutrients could also be retained it's not impacting it's not changing anything chemically in uh, the product where it is being used so the next question then dr pranav is that the exposure to liquid nitrogen the fumes and also direct exposure how can that impact our body So liquid nitrogen is basically nitrogen at around minus 196 degrees, which is an extremely cold temperature. So like mm. how uh, heat can destroy tissue, even extreme cold can destroy tissue. So basically liquid nitrogen mm. acts on the body uh, in many ways. It basically affects the skin and the eyes, mm. the respiratory tract and the digestive system. When it comes in direct contact with skin and eyes, it can cause blisters, burns, and in severe cases, even frostbite. Sometimes it can lead to even uh, skin death, which, can which might need amputations. When it is ingested, it mm. can cause 
uh, burning of the mucosal lining of the respiratory tract, which is a very sensitive layer lining the uh, respiratory system and the digestive system. So what happens is that it can lead to burns in the respiratory system. When ingested, which is when taken orally, which is uh, what happened in the in Bengaluru incident of the 12 year old girl, mm. liquid nitrogen destroys the lining of the stomach, food pipe and the small intestine, making a hole. So what happens is normally all the food materials, the acid, everything is contained inside the safe zone of the stomach, the intestines. So when this is opened mm. up, it leads to something called as a perforation where all the contents of the uh, bacterial laden contents are spilled in outside the stomach and this reaches the blood and then finally it results in septicemia which is uh, bacteria reaching the bloodstream and then finally it, it can lead to death. Got so it. if there is a perforation we have to act quickly. It might need uh, emergency okay. surgery to either repair the hole or remove the hmm. diseased organ. Hmm. But Dr. Pranav, tell me this, we see a lot of fine dining places, we see a lot of Michelin star restaurants, not just in India but across the globe, use liquid nitrogen uh, for, various, uh, for various reasons really and in desserts, in other places as well. So what are they doing right and what do we have to stay away from? So liquid nitrogen has many industrial applications. One of them is in the food and beverage industry. And with the rise of social media, everyone wants to have great culinary experiences. So what it does, it ad adds a very smoky, foggy feel. It's a great visual experience. We all like it. But the thing is, the way it is handled and the safety measures that are taken, they have to be a lot of education on it. And uh, it is mm. imperative to you know let the nitrogen cool down for a sufficient period of time before consuming it. That makes it a, a lot safer. Mm. Okay, so a lot of people are not allowing it to cool down and turn into vapor, and that's the reason why this is actually uh, this is actually happening. So the mishandling is actually leading to these cases as well. So Dr. Pranav, can you tell me this? Then the other uh, substances that are used, say dry ice, which is also very popular in restaurants these days, is that safe? So compared to liquid nitrogen, which is around minus 196, 197 degrees, dry ice is around minus 180 degrees. So that comparatively is, I would not say safe, but less risky. Even dry ice can cause burns and all the effects that I described. Mm. The safest would mm. be to heavily regulate both of these and use uh, slow refrigeration processes and create safe uh, dining experiences for everybody. Dr. Pranav, all the chefs and uh, mixologists watching you right now will not be very happy. Are you saying not use it at all or are you saying use it with only the best practices? Yeah, so, uh, so what I was saying is it's better to be heavily regulated rather than trying to outright ban it. So, best safety practices should be followed. Okay, okay. Everyone Dr. Pranav, thank you so much for joining us. And then only use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. You're saying that there, it has to be heavily sort of monitored and ensure that best practices are followed. And that should be the way forward. Thank you so much, Dr. Pranav, for joining us with that perspective. Sure, thank you. Thank you.